Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to TTV News with some last events in our province. And now we come into details. The Nen City People's Council held the 10 sections to review the implementation of the 2019 resolutions and set out goals and directions for the cultural and social economic development, thus, and national defense security missions in 2020. Mr. Nguyen Man Hong, member of the Provincial Standing Party Committee, Secretary of the Tenant City Party Committee, attended the sections on December the 12th. In the opening speech, Mr. Tan Tiu Yu, Chairman of the City People's Council, stressed that the sessions concentrating on discussing and reviewing the 2019 achievements, debating and voting on important issues in 2020. The sessions also ratifying reports and nice resolutions. The question and direct answer session in groups of issues are concerned by many voters and delegates. According to the assessment of the City People's Committee, in 2019 the localities has completed 13 out of 14 targets set out by the resolution of the People's Council, in which the targets are all exceeded. The total state budget revenues were estimated at over 615 billion Vietnam dong, reaching 130% of the estimate. According to the assessment, thanks to focusing on well implementing the urban construction and development investment, so far the city has reached 78.5% of the criteria of urban areas of grade second. The city is also implementing measures to improve the quality and efficiency of administrative procedures, the situation of political security, social order and safety in the area was maintained. The 10th session lasted two days, December 12 and 13, 2019. The Institutes of Transport Science and Technology coordinated with the Departments of Transportation recently organized a training course for foster new technology solutions and instruction on technical handling in the field of construction of transport infrastructure for officials and employees of departments of transportation and infrastructure and economy divisions of districts and the cities in the province. During the two-day course, the trainees were given information on a number of topics by lecturers from the Institute of Transport Science and Technology, such as researching solutions in designing and executing reinforced plastic materials in construction of highways, solutions for using steel slats at the foundation and pavement of motorways, solutions for designing and executing free surface coating in Vietnam, solutions for checking and repairing damaged precessed cable in free constructions, and studying solutions to regulate traffic on the main access network to reduce congestion in urban areas. Speaking at a training course, Mr. Nguyen Hong Hai, Deputy Director of the Department of Transportation, said that recently the industry has proposed many solutions to strengthen the quality management of the maintenance of transportation works in the province, including extending the warranty periods to increase the responsibility of the contractor, thereby improving the quality of the works. As of November 30th, Turning Development Investment Fund disbursed 175.3 billion Vietnam dong for infrastructure investment loans in the province, achieved an average credit growth of 6%. Basically, the lending of the Provincial Development Investment Fund has contributed to attracting the participation of all economic sectors, especially the private sectors, together with investing in infrastructure, social economic development of the locality. However, compared to the existing capital, the outstanding loan is over 160 billion Vietnam dong, accounting for 30 percent. Currently, the fund's capital is over 524 billion Vietnam dong, of which the provincial budget has granted 506 billion Vietnam dong, still low compared to the current investment needs of infrastructure projects. It is expected that in the next five years, 2020 and 2025, the Charter Capital Obtaining Development Investment Fund strives to reach 1,000 billion Vietnam dong from the annual budget and deduction from the annual development investment fund in accordance with the provisions of the government. The Nen Province on December 12 held a preliminary meeting on implementation of the first phase of building residential areas as section to the border military position in 2019. 
Mr. Yu Wang Tang, Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, Head of the Steering Committee for Building Residential Areas, Objection to the Provincial Border Military Positions, Colonel Huang Dinh Chung, Deputy Head of Politics, the seven military regions, attend the meeting. Pursuant to the plan number A12 dated April 1, 2019 of the Military Region 7 Command on the construction of residential areas adjacent to the border militia position in the area of military region in the first phase in 2019, Tanning Provincial Military Command has started construction of residential areas adjacent to the border militia position in Châu Thành and Tân Châu districts. Beneficiaries are voluntary comrades, including six households of permanent militia soldiers, three households of reserve army men, one standing army official in difficult circumstances without houses and production land. Total expenditure to ensure two residential areas is over 3.8 billion Vietnam dong. Up to now, 10 houses in two border residential areas have been inaugurated, handed over to households. So far, households have gradually stabilized and peace of mind to live in new places. Speaking at a meeting, Mr. Yung Văn Thắng highly appreciated the coordination between the provincial military command and districts in starting construction and handing over residential area for households to use. The provincial steering committee is instructed to continue to completely operate the plan of building residential areas adjacent to the border militia position in 2019 to 2025 period. The provincial vice chairman also instructed departments and agencies to continue coordinating with the provincial people's committee in calling for investors to invest in economic development projects in order to create favorable conditions for people in the residential area. Besides, the local party committee must also do well the propaganda and education to raise the awareness of the people in the residential areas to actively produce and improve life, contributing to building and stabilizing the border areas. The Block of Districts and City Inspectorate recently held a conference to summarize the emulation movement in 2019 at the meeting room of Goyou District People's Committee. Attending the conference, there was Mr. Trang Văn Minh Trí, Provincial Commissioner and Chief Inspector of the Ninh Province. In 2019, the Districts and City Inspectorate conducted 61 inspections in the areas of finance, budget, administration, land, capital construction and settlement of complaints and denunciations, as well as anti-corruption. In addition, inspectors of districts and city have also performed well their responsibilities in advising and timely settling citizens' petitions and in anti-corruption work. In the coming time, inspectors of districts and city continue to implement effectively the contents of the law on emulation and commendation, carry out inspection of assets and income declaration in 2019 for agencies, organizations and units in the area. In addition, the advisory work in resolving complaints and denunciations and monitoring the implementation of legally effectively decisions will also be concerned. The People's Committee of Hoa Thành District recently organized a conference to implement the plan for the Lunar New Year 2020. Accordingly, the party committee and local authorities at all levels in the district will implement synchronously and effectively the regime's policies and visits, giving gifts to war invalids, sick soldiers, mothers, families, and meritorious services to the country, and Vietnamese heroic murders. The renovation of Mater Cemetery Memorial Works Gratitude activities associated with revolutionary tradition education for the young generation are also concerned. The district will also fully implement the regime for social protection subjects, given gifts for poor families, lonely elderly people, disabled people, children in extremely difficult circumstances to have better conditions to enjoy that holiday. In addition, the authorities will also organize visits and present gifts to patients being treated at the district health center, urban construction sanitary workers, disabled children, blind children, and religious organizations in the district. 
All levels of the government and functional forces are implementing plans and solutions to ensure political security, social order and safety, organize meaningful and practical cultural and artistic activities and sports to celebrate Spring Festival 2020 and to mark the 90th anniversary of the founding of the party. And that's all for the news of today. Thank you for joining us and see you more next time.